Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the combined pressure law. Okay, and the combined pressure law comes from looking at all of these. I know that pressure equals a constant over volume. That volume is also is a constant. So I'm going to call these different constants. I'm going to call this A. I'm going to call this B. And I know that pressure, C times T there. So I know that this is the relationship for Boyle's, Charles's, and pressure law. And if I combine these together, I would have something that looked like this. I would have pressure times by volume over temperature would equal a constant. So the combined pressure law is all about when three things are changing at once. So if at the start I had 100 kilopascals uh, in a volume of 1.2 metres cubed and a temperature at 30 degrees C, afterwards the pressure has risen to 120 kilopascals the volume is one point, uh, shrunk to 1.13 metres cubed. What is the temperature? I can use this combined pressure law to work out this new temperature. So let's have a go. So let's work out this constant. So for step one, I've got 100 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.2 over... Now remember, I always said about temperature, you must have this in Kelvin. So 30 plus 273 is 303 Kelvin there. Okay. So let's put this in. 100 times 3 times by 1.2 divided by 300. Uh, so 100 times 3 times by 1.2 divided by 300. Uh, 100 times 3 times 1.2 divided by 303 is 396. This constant is the same after. So I know that 120 times 10 to the 3, so this is part 2, times 10 to the 3, times by 1.13 over my temperature also equals 396. So if I want the temperature, I'm just going to flip those around. So I've got 120 times 10 to the 3 times by 1.13 divided by that. My new temperature is 342.39 Kelvin, or if I take away 273, I end up with 69.39 degrees C. Which does make sense. I have increased my pressure by approximately 20%. But I haven't shrunk enough to warrant, I haven't shrunk by 20%, which means that the temperature must have done something, it must have heated up to increase the pressure some more. So this there is known as the combined pressure law. And like the individual laws, this is not on your data sheet. However, these two are. So the two that are on your data sheet are PV equals NRT, or PV equals NKT. They're both on your data sheet. And if I just rearrange these, I end up with PV over T equals NR, or PV over T equals big NK. And as you can see, as long as the number of stuff I have and the material I have stay the same, I will have a constant here. Okay, so even though this is not on your data sheet, it is in a weird way, and you can always use that to help you. So that there is the combined pressure law.